Yeah, this is my first video blog, yo. I'm just trying to keep it 100. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just trying to be real. It's a lot of shit out there that I, I really just don't like. It's just like, it's funny like L.A. girls, you know what I mean? Like, these superficial ass L.A. girls, we always talking about it ain't no good ass dudes out there. It's not no like good guys out there. It's dudes like me. I'm not the hottest guy out there. I'm not the cutest dude out there. But I'm a nice dude. I work. I do my thing. You know what I'm saying? I go to school. But every time I meet a like, a cute that's halfway decent and she light skin and she got a little bit of hair and it's hers, you know what I mean? Just because the bitch paid for it. Just because you pay for some hair don't mean it's yours, bitch. You grow some hair. But anyway, back to the point. I'm tired of these superficial ass LA girls that always think they the shit and the nigga supposed to bow down to them. Y'all bitches better step up and start showing us dudes some respect too. What the fuck is up with all these gay ass girls out here in LA too and these gay ass niggas? Is it our fault? You know what I'm saying? I think it's some of our dudes' fault. The dudes' fault. You know what I mean? I think niggas should take that shit back to the 80s and start punching some of these gay dudes out. Who said it was cool for two dudes to walk down the street and hold hands? And why the fuck is there so many gay girls walking through the street? You know what I'm saying? Every fat girl, you know what I'm saying? Just because she ugly, swear she gay. It's an ugly fat dude that will fuck your ugly ass too. You don't gotta be gay. Shit, be cute ass bitches walking down the street gay, sagging and shit. Bitch, you sagging, showing me your ass, I'ma pinch that shit. But then I'll be wrong, you be trying to take me to jail. Faggots be walking down the street, dudes be looking at us men and shit that's just normal and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we trying to fuck with them and shit like that and be like, on some gangbang and shit, like, where the fuck do they do that at? Gay ass thugs and shit like that. How many times, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, real shit, you walk in H&M or some shit like that. Like, H&M is like a gay haven right now. Nigga cannot go in H&M right now and feel, like, straight and shit like that. It's like every man in H&M is, like, fucking pro-gayness. Like, I'm for the gay rights. Like, oh, my God, Billy. Like, what the fuck, my nigga? It's niggas in there walking around with Louis Vuitton purses and shit like that. Like, for real, my nigga, you wearing a Louis Vuitton purse? Like, damn, my nigga, my bitch can't even get a Louis Vuitton purse, but, nigga, you, you got a Louis Vuitton purse? Like, real shit, like I said, where they do that at? L.A., I guess. You know what I mean? Go up in a club, you got bitch-ass niggas dancing around this shit in the club, sweating it out and shit like that. Like, my nigga, really, you in the club, you sweating? You sweating in the club, dancing, my nigga? I'm here trying to mack on some of these hot-ass females, my nigga. You, you trying to outdance the, the females? I'm in the club the other night, this nigga like... 215, I swear to God, this nigga like the buffest nigga on earth, my nigga. This nigga look like he should have just been my boulder buster or some shit like that. Nigga, arms was like, look like my thighs. And I'm a skinny nigga, so this nigga, arms was huge. Like, real shit, this nigga was over there doing the butterfly. I swear to God, I thought it was 1995 or 96. This nigga, first off, the nigga was wearing a pink shirt doing the butterfly. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. I say niggas need a reality check. You know what I mean? I'm tired of bitches and they badass kids, too. Bitches be just letting their kids do whatever the fuck. It's one thing to deal with a bitch that got kids, but I hate a bitch with some ugly-ass kids and they bad. Like, oh, my goodness, you know about daddy? Like, bitch, I don't want to be your kid's daddy. Your kids is ugly. Niggas will take some credit for some cute kids. That's one thing, women. If you got cute kids, a nigga might deal with you. But if you got some ugly-ass kids, a nigga is not fucking with you. A nigga's not taking credit for no bitch ugly-ass kids. <laughs> like, real shit, nigga. You, you get your ugly-ass baby daddy to get over here and get these kids, and then we can go kick it, bitch. Like, that's some real shit, like, ugly bitches and they ugly-ass kids. I hate seeing an ugly bitch and their nasty-ass kids walking through the mall. Shit, walking through slot, some, uh, swab beat or some shit like that. Little motherfucking knocking everything down and touching every motherfucking thing. Nigga, shit. You better go take your EBT card on somewhere, ass. I swear to God, everybody in LA got an EBT card. What the fuck is that shit? The EBT card is like the new black visa. I call that shit BET, nigga. Because every black neighborhood got an EBT motherfucking liquor store. Niggas be in that shit trying to get cigarettes, uh, phone cards for motherfucking T Mobile, all that shit, nigga. All that shit, white t-shirts, swear to God, nigga, L.A., these niggas is all that bullshit, but, you know what I'm saying, I'm just doing that, Ron, I just be spitting what's on my mind, you know what I mean, fuck it, you know what I mean, hey, yo, holla at your boy, like I said, I'm doing that, Ron, funniest nigga on the internet right now, niggas ain't fuck with me, Kevin Hart, none of these niggas, hey, holla at me, Ron Dante, Ron Dante,
L-I-V-E dot com. Fuck what you do. <laughs>